Good morning and welcome senior students to this seminar, Apocalypse Now. I am Marissa and I will be your speaker for this session. Please join me as I take you through the social, political, and historical context of Brave New World and V for Vendetta and explore the significance of these on the message that the composers are trying to assert to their viewers like you and I. Furthermore, I'll also be examining what makes these texts so iconic as a part of the speculative genre. Historical context. During the Jacobian era, King James I, who was a Protestant, executed any Catholics in England because everyone just had to follow Protestantism. V receives the idea to blow up the Norse Fire Parliament from the famous gunpowder plot of 1605, which was a conspiracy to replace the Protestant King James I with a Catholic sovereign. Guy Fawkes, along with some others involved in this, attempted to blow up the parliament on the 5th of November, 1605, by erupting barrels of gunpowder underneath it. The symbolism of V wearing a Guy Fawkes mask and the rhyming chant of Remember, Remember, the 5th of November by V acts as a historical allusion to this major event. The film was made in 2006, set in 2020, and through the historical reference to the Protestant government, McTeague suggests that the concept of government corruption has a liminal temporality, meaning that it has been prevalent throughout history all the way up until today, and it will probably repeat itself in the future, unless we do something about it. Historical Context in Brave New World During the 1930s, Henry Ford had created the assembly line and the theme of mass production was how society was supposed to run. Great technological optimism caused people to rely more on technology. Ford's automobiles even replaced primitive ways of transport, such as riding horses. Huxley challenges this optimistic reliance by depicting the state world as a society which relies fully on technology and where even the core systems of humanity are automobilized, such as growing embryos in a factory and mass producing babies, which has replaced the need for human reproduction because it's considered that it's time consuming. The historical illusion of Ford is used as a motive throughout the text and seems to have replaced the word Lord in this line. This shows that in the state world, technology is seen as so supreme that it is considered God-level. Political Context V for Vendetta alludes to how the eruption of propaganda and Muslims gaining negative media coverage was a result of the 9-11 terror attacks, which had caused major national insecurity. As a response to this, government acts were enacted which limited the rights to freedom of expression and even abrogated individual rights for the protection of national security and public order. In the film, we see that the Qur'an is forbidden and Muslims are annihilated, much like how the Jews were treated when the, under the Nazi regime. The spread of propaganda is evident in the close-up shot of Prothera's face in this scene. It gives us a clear view of the disgusted facial expression he has when he utters the word Muslims. McTeague warns us of the dangers of propaganda and urges us to question if our own governments engage in this. Political Context of Brave New World Huxley traveled to fascist Italy in 1921, where he saw the systems of a totalitarian government ruled by Benito Mussolini. It isn't a coincidence that he actually named one of his characters in Brave New World Benito. Hoover. Mustafa Mond and his totalitarian control over the society of the state world is an allusion to Mussolini and the people of Italy, which also acts as a clue to Huxley's political satire in Brave New World when he criticizes such, such regimes. Social context. When Huxley traveled to India in 1925, he discovered the caste system which divided India's population into a rigid social hierarchy based on heredity. Also, Brave New World is a critique of capitalism as it explicitly refers to the father of modern capitalist production, Henry Ford, all throughout the text. Alpha children work much harder than we do. I'm really awfully glad I'm a beta. We are much better than the gammas and deltas and epsilons are still worse. This passage lists the different classes which causes us to compare between them, judging which ones are higher than the others. This illustrates a vivid hierarchy which Huxley criticizes as he depicts the system as being very bleak and negative towards individuals in a society. 
social context of V for Vendetta. As a part of a policy enacted in 1988 by Margaret Thatcher called Section 28, which banned any promotion of homosexuality, during the AIDS epidemic, Thatcher discouraged a national campaign which aimed to discuss safe intercourse for gay and bi men. Basically, the conservative Thatcherite government did not care if people from the LGBTQ community would be impacted by the AIDS epidemic. Similarly, in V for Vendetta, McTeague takes this context to the extreme by depicting the North Fire government as being homophobic and as a result annihilating homosexual people in London. He urges us to be aware of the actions and also inactions of our governments and hence discourages our subservience to our governments. Both texts depict speculative, futuristic, dystopian societies reflective of the particular concerns of their respective contexts, highlighting that governments' draconian tendencies are recurrent and pervasive no matter what historical period we are in, and therefore must be challenged. The fact that the themes and ideas in these texts continue to resonate with contemporary contemporary audiences like us right now highlights the ongoing relevance of the message of these texts and why they are so iconic in the speculative genre.